Today I'm gonna uh, do a tutorial about fixing a popular problem when you are installing a new WordPress. As you can see now, the uh, this website is a new website. I just transferred it from another host. So it's uh, if you type in the website address mostly this is the, 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 the first uh, interface you will see especially when you are using uh, the host I'm using right now the host I'm using <coughs> right now the it's it's a bit challenging to install WordPress it's called elite host uh, so now you can see if I type in just wait let me let me load my computer you see if I type in the website address this is the first interface before you install WordPress so uh, I want to show you one thing when I, I, I install WordPress uh, this is my installation now uh, even if I put a, a password a, a password uh, even if I don't hide it, you won't use it. You won't use it because I will just delete this password. It's just for demonstration purposes. So here we are. So I want you to check what will happen after I install the new WordPress. There comes the new WordPress. We are ready to get a new website, so just give me a few minutes, then you will see what will happen if I type in the website address. So it's a popular problem. It's a popular problem. Most people they they get it challenging to solve this issue, and they end up losing a lot of money. But it's a simple thing which can be solved by almost anyone if you know hey, how to go around it. <coughs> so a digma gap that's part of our mission. We want our clients also to to make things easy for them. So here here is what happens now. I've just installed a new WordPress then oh, then I want to take the website address here copy then here we go then here we go you will see that there is no website or oh, the website now is uh, pointing to directory browsing you see now there is no website or there is no wordpress so it's showing the files in the file manager instead of the wordpress which we just installed you would expect a new wordpress to automatically pop out like uh, what you see this is the expected uh, uh, interface when you type in a new a newly installed uh, WordPress from the web address. So I will go to the to the to, to where the problem originates from. So the issue is about uh, the di the directory which you installed the WordPress. Because this uh, host allows you to install. You can install as many. Uh, WordPress is, is possible. So the problem is here now. Let me just come to the problem. The problem is here. Oh, my internet is slow. Hope I can change. I can change. 
changed uh, it soon because uh, it is a slow internet connection ruins everything. Okay, here now. Now here, here, here check where the problem originates from. The problem originates from uh, here. You can uh, solve it by when we install it a new WordPress, this is the other solution to that problem. Then I will, I will do another, 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 uh, another new installation so that we, I automatically point out where the problems, the problem comes from. So here, this WP is the directory which uh, I installed WordPress. Instead of installing WordPress with a blank one, so that it points to the to the URL or to the to the domain we have, you see it has an extension WP. So you can come, just come here, then you, you you remove the WP, then you update, you save. You would expect the the the, the, the website now to to behave normal. If I go to the website now, if I do it again, I hope this will fix the problem. Oh, the problem comes again. So that one didn't fix anything. So now let me delete this WordPress and show you where the problem originates from. The problem. The problem is the Spanish say problem, un problema, un problema, un problema origin is from here. Now I'm deleting the the WordPress now, so I'm installing a word a new one. Okay, so I have successfully uninstalled the WordPress. I had just installed a few minutes ago. Now I'm installing a new one with a password which I want to be the main password, which means I will have to edit this tutorial so that uh, you don't come into my website so here here is the problem the problem is here when you are installing make sure that this WP directory in, this is the directory where the web, website is gonna be located make sure it's blank then you are done you will be done okay so let me do just a quick one I this part or oh, I will have to change the password I think so or oh, let me hide it yes I have successfully hidden it no one will get into this website okay pieces so I'm about to show you now if the problem has been solved if it has been solved if you didn't understand I hope you can give me a call I will be happy to assist in help you so that you get your website up and going without any problems yeah then now I'm installing a new WordPress with a new and secure password into it my email which I will change yes I am with an email which I will change okay here we go installing a new WordPress Installing a new WordPress. Okay, here we go. We go. 
scrolling and you wordpress yeah so let me show you if i was successful now let's take the the, the website address or oh, as we call it the domain then see if i the technician managed to solve this problem so let's see let's see let's see if i like here we go boom now we have successfully solved that problem thank you for watching this tutorial if you had any you have any problems with the wordpress feel free to contact us and check the link in the description below if you need a good web designer with a good who design something good and who put your dream into reality just contact us click the link in the description below thank you very much please sub subscribe like comment and share i'll be happy to uh, assist you in anything and if you sub subscribe we post uh, so many tutorials regularly about wordpress issues that may affect people in south africa and the world over and also uh, we post about digital marketing content and a lot other things so yeah i would say if you are keen to learn more about wordpress or about digital marketing or about anything related to websites uh, please subscribe so that we also uh, are motivated to keep on uh, doing these tutorials so i'm signing off